Hello and welcome to Svelte. What is Svelte? Svelte is a framework, much like React.js or Vue.js, uh, without all the complexity. Um, some may disagree with me, uh, however, I doubt the writers of Svelte would. Now, to get right into it, we're starting with VS Code. Uh, this is a very vanilla system. It does have Docker. Um, I like to work in dev containers within VS Code. Uh, so first thing I have to do is set up the dev container extension. And there we go, installing. Um, keep it brief, a dev container is just a Docker container or a series of a set of Docker containers. And it runs smoothly within VS Code. So you don't have to worry about any li um, yeah, libraries, uh, software, whatever. Um, you can it can be all self-contained in VS Code, and you can run different versions of say Node.js on different projects, and, and no worries. All right, I think we're installed. Um, we will close that. We are still sitting in the vanilla VS code. We need a directory to work from. So I'm going to use the shortcut control shift tilde to open a terminal where I will create a spelt project. And then I'll use VS code to open it. Seems a bit convoluted, but we just opened in an empty folder in VS Code. Now, if I press F1, I want to start typing dev containers for all the commands that it uh, gives us. We're looking for, we need to set up the, um, the dev container folder with the skeleton files that starts up our app. Add dev container configuration files, enter. All right, so this is going to be a node app. So we will have to show definitions, node, there's many options here. We do not need a DB. Uh, we're not going to use TypeScript for this. We'll stick with just Node.js and JavaScript. Um, the default is 18. We'll use that. Okay. Adding dev container files. All right. So let's say, let's just have a quick look. The dev container.json file, simply a name and an image. Um, we're not going to get into the, the other options because they're not applicable to us at the moment, but for your information, it is just a folder at the root of the project with a file in it. Now we have to reload VS code with into the container or however you say it. And I want to attach to a running container. Reload. Oh, the notification. You have to bear with me. I don't remember everything. I just click the notification that reopens VS Code with the container. And as you can see here, it is downloading the base Docker images, which is dev containers JavaScript node. We copy this and have a search. Get a little info on it. VS Code Remote GitHub Dev Containers. So this is the docker.com page for the VS Code Remote De Code Spaces development container images. A bit more complicated, the code spaces, but essentially they're all uh, running the same base images. And this is going to give us, I think, Alpine. Um, it may be Alpine, it may be Debian. In any case, it will have like the bare minimum to run a Node.js app. So it's pretty efficient. It's almost done. Installing server. All right, let's have a look at the um, stalled docs. 
uh, I did use Svelte to create my personal website about three years ago. So it's been a while. I haven't touched it since then. Uh, meaning I haven't installed a new Svelte project since then. And I think we're ready to go over here. If we open a new terminal, I'm trying to get the uh, window to shorten here. Actually, I shouldn't do it. I'll maximize the window. Then I will run the first npm create command. Oh, as you can see, our username is node because we're running within the node container. The container is mapped. The container file system has mapped our project directory to our host project directory, if that makes sense. Anyhow, npm create spelt at latest. Oh, look at that. We're just going to do it anyway. We're in spelt project. I didn't have to create that. It needs to install create spelt because I haven't run it yet. Which spelt app template? Looks like we have a couple of options. Spelt cat. SvelteKit Demo App, a demo app showcasing some of the features of SvelteKit. Play a word guessing game that works without JavaScript. Skeleton Project. Library Skeleton Project. Bare Bones Scaffolding. All right, let's just go with the Skeleton Project. Yes, add type checking with TypeScript. Okay, now we're not going to do that for simplicity's sake. Add ESLint for code linting. Absolutely. Add Prettier for code forming. Formatting, yes. Add playwright for browser testing. Uh, let's just no. I'm gonna keep it simple. Keep it simple. But linting and formatting should be standard. Um, testing will will address in another uh, video. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Sorry, I'm listening to some jams and getting a bit distracted. PD my app npm install. Next step says git in it, but we are not working within a git repository today, so we're going to skip that. Woohoo! npm install successful. We shall npm run dev dash dash open. That's just a fancy way to tell it to run and then open it in the browser. Byte. Uh, not that it's relevant, but uh, Svelte used to use Sapper to do the whole build process, but it has since switched to Byte. And that's it. It is up and running. Um, yeah, so that was easy. I'm just going to cut here, and then in another video, we shall do something with it.